Hey everybody, it's Maggie Mulher, and look who I have. Hey. Hey, that's Ammon Carver, the hottest guy in the industry. <laughs> so we hear, it's funny, I should tell you, we were gonna do, um, we were gonna ask you, who are the 10 hottest guys in the industry? And just in conversation, guess who came up as number one? Hey, nice. you know what? <laughs> guess, we didn't, we didn't tell him we were gonna do this. Guess who no, came I'm up watching. as number two? Your buddy. Nick Stenson. Nick, Nick Stenson is, yeah, is, he's in that he's top ten. He's definitely tent. number two. Okay, so, so Ammon has the coolest salon in New York City. It's brand new. It's on West 17th Street. And he is having a special event today with editors called a do-it-yourself, what is it, a do-it-yourself what? Yeah, DIY do-it-yourself hair event. So okay. we're helping... Uh, stylists or helping our customers, excuse me, helping customers learn how to do tips and tricks to style their hair when they're not in the salon so they can continue looking great in between visits to the salon. Yeah, see, he's keeping it pro. Okay, <laughs> so we have our buddy here, Angela, who happens to be a modern salon uh, colleague, and um, Ammon is going to show her how to extend, and what you should be teaching your clients, how to extend the blowout, um, the look between blowouts, between appointments, and then we're going to do that, and then if we have time, we're going to take a little tour of this salon, which is beyond cool. So I'm going to flip this around, you guys ask your questions, and uh, you'll love Ammon. All right. <laughs> so, Ammon Carver, take it away. Okay, so here with Angela's hair. We've given her a beautiful blowout, so we want to make sure that we extend the life of the blowout just a little bit. Now her hair, she has a finer hair type that wants to fall flat quickly. So what we want to do is like as the days go by, we want to make sure that the hair gets fluffier, bouncier, even fuller. So it lasts longer and it gets sexier and even better as the day go on further. So I'm going to use a little bit of our hair, new hair plumper from Keratin. Healing oil at Lanza. Alright, so yeah, and, and tell us how you spray it on. I mean, do we the saturated no. really gives tips. So it's a super light mist. You can see like when I, when I spray it just on my hand, it's very, very light mist and you can feel just a little bit of it, but it's going to give you a dry separation and actually densify and make the hair, hair feel like fatter, actually feel fatter. It's like plumper. Like okay. you know the way lip plumper plumps your lips? Yes, we do know that. It's going to do the same thing for your hair. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right, so show so us actually that. the best way to apply this is going to take and, and pick up the hair like a, like with the, like almost like you have a little duck, duck bill like here. Pick up the hair and then I don't know if you can see that Maggie like that, but I'm going to well, actually... Should I go from this side? Yeah, can you see People from there? People are saying how beautiful your color is, Angela. It is beautiful. Yeah, nice, nice job. I'm going to spray and then I'm going to drop like shake and I'm going to spray and I'm going to shake. So I'm creating like space in between the hair for the plumper to get in there and do its job. Right, so it can actually build body as we're working through and she's gonna feel right away like her hair has a lot more guts or a lot more. So it went from being very flat to having some fullness. Lots of fullness, yeah. Okay. So this is gonna be something she wants to do right after she like freshly went right when she gets her blow dry so her hair looks great. But then also tonight before she goes to bed, she's gonna do it one more time so when she wakes up tomorrow, she's actually already gonna have that plumpness in her hair and it's gonna be less work for her to do tomorrow morning. So do it again tonight, okay? <laughs> so get lifted up, spray. So they're kind of random sections. It's it's more. It's not super specific. Exactly. It's literally just like oh, you're only lifting the hair so that the hair that's freshly been blow dried can receive some of that plumper in between and and create like. The so shape and the space. What was uh, used to prep her hair, or was anything used to prep her hair? Yes. Yeah, so we all, the only thing that we had in her hair prior to was a little bit of the powder up texturizer from Lanza. Okay. So this, before we prepped her hair at all, she had her hair blow dried nice and smooth, just using our keratin healing oil, shampoo and conditioner, and then we went through right here at the base. This is a really fun, interesting product actually that works really, really well. That's perfect in line with this. That's a good question. So. This is actually a powder, so when you intuitively, because it has a salt shaker top, you want to tip it over into like a salt, like a salt shaker. But what you can do is actually take and squeeze it, and you Ooh, can apply it much cool. lighter into the scalp area. Yeah. And for people who have fine hair that doesn't want to hold back combing, it now gives the hair extra grip, so it'll lock in back combing a little extra. Right, so if you have the type of hair that when you back comb the hair it just slips right out, use a little of the powder up texturizer and you can see right away how much stronger oh, that back combing is gonna lock in. And that was an intense back combing. No, that was like literally two or three little like what wow. do you call so little back combs? Somebody said thank you for that tip. And somebody asked what oil you recommend for shiny, healthy hair. The only oil that I ever use is the keratin healing oil treatment. It's a nice lightweight oil that can be used on every single hair type. The great thing about the oil 
is that, oh, hang on. here it is right here. There's a couple things. It comes in a light bottle, like you can see, so it's not gonna oxidize, it won't change color, which can be problematic sometimes if a blonde wants to use an oil that is now kind of turned to like an orangey color. Also, our oil is amazing because it absorbs into, if you put it on the back of your hand, it absorbs into your skin. It doesn't leave like an oil slick surface. It does the same thing on the hair. One of the things that I think is an interesting thing to, to think about, if you've ever put oil on the surface of a table, it attracts dirt, right? So we're talking about longevity of blow dries. And if you use oil in your blow dry that doesn't absorb by the hair, as you walk around town, you walk around the city, it's, absor it's gonna like attract dirt. And therefore you're gonna need to wash your hair sooner. But our oil absorbs deeply into the hair and it doesn't attract dirt. So you can actually use our oil and still extend the life of your blow dry. Okay, do this one more time because I know uh, you have other people coming. You're seeing how many yep. editors today? 30 something editors? Yeah, like 35 editors. Who's That's your favorite fine. editor? It's Who's fine. Modern editor? salon all day long. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so somebody said she some, always puts in too much powder, so show us again how to do this. Yeah, so typically you tip it, right? So if you're worried if you have darker hair base, you want to make sure you don't apply too much. Yeah. Here's a great little tip. So shake it up first. You're kind of making sure that there's air in between the powder itself. Yeah. Then flip open the lid and then you just gently squeeze and it comes out really nice and easily. That's great. And then that way the application doesn't get too heavy and you can still feel it. I mean, you'd be able to see, I don't know how well you can zoom in on that camera, but like when, uh, when I, I place it in, it locks yeah. in really easily. Like that was just one gentle quick push, two, and we got lots wow. of volume there. And it's still shiny on the surface. Yeah, it's really, wow. really, really, really fantastic. And this is going to be a great way to create like that next day sort of like zhuzhability, right? So if she wakes up and she's got that, that uh, powder up texturizer in there, all she needs to do the next day is kind of give it like a little fluff and it's going to have that memory that it's needed. Very nice, Angela. Love it. Love it, Angela. You're Gorgeous. Great. And Angela, love your color. That's so great. And I'm gonna I wish ask I could take credit Amy, for the color. Have you had a chance to go to the gym lately? <laughs> <laughs> I missed my I missed my gym this morning. No, actually, I did go to the gym this morning. You're just such a great guy. All right, we love this. Okay, so Ammon, tell us how we can follow you, how we can find you. So follow me on Instagram, Ammon Carver, all single spaced, or follow us at the studio, Ammon Carver Studio, all one word, single spaced. And we are at what's the name of the salon? And we are at the Ammon Carver Studio. And, and also follow Lonza Haircare on Instagram too. And I'll be seeing that too. Hair. Lonza Haircare. And what is your title with Lonza? I'm the creative director with Lonza. Oh, this is so cool. You guys, if you get a chance to come to New York City, I'm going to take you on a little tour on Modern Salon, but this is the front space where um, you only have four stations up here. No. And then, and then, hello. <laughs> you look right out. We're on the second floor. You look right out on West 17th Street. And then back there is the coolest. Oh my God, it's a photo space. Yeah. So we're going to go on a little tour of that, and you come to Modern Sight, and we're going to show that to you. But Ammon, thank you so much for this time and all these great tips. Thank you. Uh, this was wonderful. You're great. Thanks, Thanks. Maggie. All right. Bye. bye.